I've been playing Project Castaway and I found five glitches I think the devs haven't found yet. Make sure you stick around for the last one too, because it's definitely my favorite glitch and I hope the devs don't fix it. My name is Mr. Miko and let's get right into it. If you're not familiar, Project Castaway is a game developed by Mardenpool Inc. It's a survival crafting game set in the Pacific Ocean. You can sail the ocean, hunt, explore unique islands, and gather resources as you fight for survival. It's currently in early access, and I'll put a link down below if you want to learn more about it on Steam. Starting off with number 5, you can place the blueprints of a standing torch on the ceiling, but you can't remove it once you've placed it there, and you can't add resources to make it a thing either. You can add resources to the standing torch when you put it on the wall though. It looks a little goofy here, but personally I love the idea of this. This game takes a lot of inspiration from things like the forest. You can see the inspiration in how they use the survival booklet to build things, how they use turtle shells to collect water. The forest has a skull lamp that you can place on the ceiling. I don't think Project Castaway should take this idea directly, but putting a light on the ceiling would be a nice mechanic to have. Moving on to number 4. Sharks can come back to life after death. The way to make this happen is you kill a shark, push it to shore, then you want to save your game and die or reload the game and there you go. The shark gets reanimated and now you have a shark that cannot die. Trust me, I tried it, I shot it with arrows, I hacked at it with a wooden knife, nothing could kill it a second time. This gets me excited and I'm sure the devs are going to patch this up eventually but I love the idea of zombie sharks. And if you look at the Steam page, there's a brief teaser of some kind of skeleton pirate creature. There's pirates teased all over the game so why not zombie sharks? Seven, eight. Moving on to number three, helicopter birds. It's exactly what you think. The birds in Project Castaway have been such a treat to watch develop. They used to fly through the floor, they patch that, and now every so often if you kill a bird with a spear, they spin uncontrollably. They take your spear, they take the meat that is them, and then you are just SOL. I imagine the birds screaming, you'll never take me alive or dead. And with that, I can sleep at night. It's still in game. Where are you? Where is, where is it? Do you see it? Before we continue on with the list, I simply want to ask you to like the video if you're enjoying the content and consider subscribing if you're new. I play games like Project Castaway Live every Monday. I'm still a small channel and your support means the world to me, so thank you. Now moving on to number two. The airplane that you crash in the opening sequence can be retrieved and placed on the shore, or rather pushed onto the shore. You can't really do anything with it beyond that, it just looks cool. But I love the idea that you might be able to use this airplane in any other way. Why not have emergency supplies in the plane? Can we take things like the cushions from it and use it for bedding? I don't know. I just, I simply love the idea that we can get some use out of it rather than just staring at it from the distance. It can still help us survive. I know that if I were stranded on an island and I could see my airplane way off into the distance, I'd do everything I could to get it back and pull as many resources from it as possible. It's still there! We weren't hallucinating. It's real. Lastly, number one, which is my absolute favorite glitch. Project Castaway has a bunny hop mechanic. This is something I think the devs should absolutely not change. If you're not familiar with what a bunny hop is, let me tell you. Back in the day, games like Team Fortress Classic had a mechanic where if you jumped and tapped the left button, then jumped and tapped the right button perfectly when you landed, you could move infinitely fast. It took some getting used to, but if you got the hang of it, you could do some really cool stuff. It's extremely satisfying to pull off. Games these days don't really have this mechanic. If you watch this clip here, I'm sprinting from one barrel to the other, which is taking up time, and then I'm bunny hopping in the next sequence. My stamina doesn't matter because the amount of time that I'm touching the ground is minuscule. And I know that devs probably want to make this game as realistic as possible, but maybe consider bunny hopping similar to adrenaline. If you can master bunny hopping away from a jaguar, then it's probably comparable, right? Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything that's new. Let me know down below what you think. Have you played Project Castaway yet? Is there a glitch here that I missed? I'd love to hear from you. My name's Mr. Miko. I'll see you in the next one.